Let's see, County District Attorney tells News Channel 5 he thinks some high-profile political figures could be indicted again. This even after his original indictments were thrown out by a judge yesterday. Becky Medellin has tonight's story. 36 point, what is it? Months 36 of point. research and months of questioning witnesses, all of it shot down in court in a matter of hours. In addition to dismissing the indictments, I find that there is no probable cause to support the return of the indictments. Judge Manuel Banales ruled there wasn't enough probable cause or evidence for the indictments to stick. For this judge to just take it lightly, um, you know, that's an injustice. I mean, he was there to protect uh, Eddie Lucio and the rest of the, of the individuals. The grand jury members who indicted Lucio and the others meet one more time on December 12th. Normally, Yera could present all those cases to the grand jury again, but in this case, the judge has ordered him not to, and defense attorneys are filing legal paperwork to make sure that order sticks. But Yera says there's still a chance. This is a grand jury. They think for themselves, and I won't be surprised if they'll go ahead and get together and indict him again. If that happens, Guerra can't address the grand jury when they indict, but he says he can get an outside attorney to do so, and that is allowed. Becky Medellin, News Channel 5 at 10, Willis County.